it was, this was a great movie. It made me want to be a Trekkie. And I and to be honest, I gotta gotta admit, Nichelle Nichols, when she played Uhura, she was my first crush when I was a little kid. I know oh. that dates me, but it, it was good to see you take up that role mm-hmm. again and, and and deliver on it. Thank so, you. It means a lot. This this Star Trek was kind of different though, because we see your relationship with Spock kind of you know, develop in a way that we haven't seen in, in previous iterations. I like how just simple it was, you know, that even though this movie is set in the future and they're going through a lot of challenging uh, uh, missions <laughs> right. that they have to overcome and um, their forms of transportation are definitely a little more advanced than ours, um, she is still heartbroken and and he is still struggling with something and they're trying to stick it out you know and and hammer it and 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 find a way to make peace so that they can stay together and keep fighting for their relationship and i that's what i loved the most about that dynamic um and how jj wanted to just not really make a thing out of it and just throw it out there yeah, it was fun it was like yeah. natural Yes. But you're also, we, we see you speaking Klingon, yes. Klingon and, and we know that you're a master of xenolinguistics. And do you think you really have some alien skills if it goes there and we have to talk? No. No. No, 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 no. Absolutely <laughs> not. I mean, there, there, there's some countries that you, I would say, no, I, I, would, I can't speak that language whatsoever. Um, uh, but I definitely do enjoy, I think it's the little girl in me gets to have so much fun doing something that is, you know, that even though it's not real, um, it's interesting. And, and, um, and you get to sort of imagine that if, we, if it were true, it, you know, it, it would be pretty awesome. Right, right. Now, after Columbiana, I thought that you was like the, the action girl. Now, after I see all your body work, it's like you're kind of like the sci-fi girl. You're kind of like a whole bunch of actresses <laughs> in one. I know that you're in the next issue of Allure and you're bearing all. How did you just get confident enough to like say, I'm going I'm to do this for this magazine? Um... I, you know, it, it's. I grew up in a household where we were we were very very free, and my mom raised us believing and knowing that the body's not what's tainted; it's the mind. So I guess this time, I never had an editor, uh, uh, um, uh, sort of like an artistic editor, creative editor, uh, uh, come up to me and tell me and ask me. What would I want to be doing? How would I want to be seen for for this magazine? And I thought I, I was very moved by that, and um, and I had never felt like I can just be myself, like no makeup, just me, you know, without having to be somebody else or transform into a different fashion. That though I enjoy it so much because it is my second passion, I wanted people to sort of. Not that I wanted people, I just wanted to be me. A little more like Zoe, the goofball, very blunt and abrasive and, and the tomboy. <laughs> and I wanted to sort of wear my, reg- my normal uniform. I love it. Thank uh, you. Last, before we go, can you put any, uh, any rumors to rest about Avatar 2? I, it's coming next year. We're going to start shooting next year, so we will have to wait a couple of years for uh, part two to come out, but it's going to be great. Well, it'd be great. I'll get to see you now in Star Trek Into yes. the Darkness. Thank I hope you. you like it. <laughs>